So you might be in a situation where your always on display is now working on your iPhone. So you can see that whenever I go on do not, if I go on my always on display, it's not really working on my iPhone. So the main way to go ahead and fix this is for one, make sure you have the toggle set up properly inside of your iPhone settings. So click on your settings of your iPhone. You'll come into a panel that looks like this. And then we want to go and click on display and brightness. So click on display and brightness. And we want to basically scroll down until we see our always on display. So what we want to do is click on always on display. And all we're going to want to do is go ahead and toggle these specific things on. So toggle on your always on display. And if you want, you can also turn on your show wallpaper or show notifications. If you have those things enabled, that is pretty much all you're going to have to do. Now, a few things to keep in mind. One, if you are not having an iPhone 14 Pro or above Pro iPhone, so in the future, if you have a 15 Pro, 16 Pro, whatever, you, if you don't have those iPhones, you're probably not going to be able to see this feature unless Apple does something miraculous in the next iOS updates. Other than that, you're not going to be able to see this. So if you're missing this feature, it's because you don't have one of the newer Pro iPhones, which do support this feature. So keep that in mind in the back of your head. Now, if for some reason you do that and that's still not working, the next thing you want to do is you want to see exactly what's not working. So if you're not able to see the time, then you just want to toggle on that feature again and that's going to show you. However, if you don't see your wallpaper, well, the reason why that's happening is because you do have do not disturb mode on. So if you go and toggle off do not disturb mode, so if I go and toggle this off, you should see that now my always on display is working perfectly fine. I'm able to see the wallpaper in the background. I'm able to see the time and everything like that. So you just want to go ahead and make sure that's the case as well. Now, another thing, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is if it's still not working, is you want to go and update your iPhone. So go and make your way over to your settings again on your iPhone. You want to scroll down until you see settings or your general settings right here. You want to go and click on software update. And all you're going to want to do is go ahead and update your specific iPhone. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix these types of situations. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.